We're gonna throw out a real quick sub off this one. All right, and it's predicated on what he does with his arm. All right now, when I'm when I'm talking about the breakdown, I'm not. I'm saying don't just yank on him because now I'm still stuck behind him. I broke the turtle, right? But I'm behind his hips, and that's okay if that's where you're going. All right, but I want to immediately attack. So instead, I'm spinning him around a little bit. You see, as I break it. I'm not just moving straight away and creating space. I want to stay connected as much as possible. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I'm connected. And I really like that spiral ride, that fist inside. You can, you can curl the wrist if you want also. I just like how that connects to the hip because I'm usually going to the neck. All right? If you prefer to control the shoulder, that's fine too. Okay? Especially if you're looking for arm bars. All right? It leaves your arms free. And it protects your elbow even more. Okay? But I really like being able to just spin it to the ground. Okay, and I'm leaving that outside leg open because I want that arm. All right, so I'm just going to windshield wiper my bottom leg, wrap that leg right over his arm, and fall underneath. Okay, my arm that was on his leg shoots under his shoulder. Okay, because I need to connect myself because I'm really high on him right now. You see, so if I don't have that, if I'm not holding on there, I have nothing to connect this anymore. And if he turns away, I lose the position. Okay, he'll probably be able to shake me off. So I want to connect myself to those shoulders as I'm pulling my head down. Okay, and now I've got his arm trapped in. I've got two arms to attack his neck. He's only got one to defend. Make sense? Yeah. One more time. All right, so I got to put that hand down fine. So I want to go to that underhook fine, spin him down that fine, because then I can control the arm. All right, he tries to come back up. I rack. I sit. All right, I can touch the foot behind his back. I can go over the top. By the way, I got to Alright. Tip one up? Yeah. Can you see it or you good? I'm good. Control. Break it down. Alright. I'm not yanking him over, you see? I want him to feel like he can stay up. Okay? So he has to post that arm. The higher he posts, the easier the hook. Boom. And then I fall to that side. So that my back leg's not in the way. I can pull my second hook. I've got my short toe. I've got my rear naked. And if I've got that underhook and I get the pinky, I can finish the one arm. Something's happening. Cool? Gurgle's just as good. Make sense? All right. Play with those different finishes. If you know them, if you don't know them, just pick one. One, two, three.